The latest on the coronavirus, Oregon reporting 373 new cases today. Multnomah County has a whopping 77 new cases. However, you see several rural counties with higher than normal numbers, and that's very concerning. Yamhill County with 18 today, Morrow County with 20, Umatilla County with 40 reported cases. The ongoing daily infections in Umatilla forced the governor to shut down the county once again. Our Lisa Balick digging deeper into the problems that that county faces as it tries to flatten the curve. Lisa? Well, I wanted to find out what the rollback actually means in Umatilla County and also how the virus spread so quickly to so many people there. Then I had to call my employees to let them know that as of noon today, they were going to be unemployed for a for the next 21 days. In Pendleton, hair salon manager Amber Reeder had to quickly reach clients as well last night to let them know business was shutting down at noon. I was kind of expecting it a little bit. Honestly, I think um, 4th of July, I expected everybody, you know, there was a bunch of people that I saw had got together for 4th of July, so I was expecting to be closed down two weeks after that. There is surprise. Umatilla rolled back from phase two all the way back to stay home baseline status, meaning while grocery stores and retail can stay open, personal services like hair salons, gyms, youth sports are now shut down again. Restaurants back to takeout only. Umatilla has the highest number of COVID cases based on its population than any other county, close to 2,000 cases now total. There is community spread and outbreaks at large agriculture processing plants. It's just simply impossible uh, to go ahead and pick up, say, the, the French fry production processing line and move it to your house and sort potatoes from home. So uh, we experience a lot of those challenges here uh, with people trying to thread the needle of still putting food on the table uh, while trying to, to maintain social distance. County leaders say there are also Washington residents in counties with restrictions coming over the border to play golf and go to restaurants in Oregon. The rollback is a blow, though, to businesses trying to come back from being shut down back in March. I talked with a cafe owner in Hermiston. People get scared, you know, they, um, they don't want to go out, so that's what's going to happen to a lot of the businesses again here in Hermiston. Um, it's going to make it hard to make payroll. People are, we're going to have to let people off. And it may be just the first of many counties having to shut down again. Again, keep in mind, both Multnomah County here and Marion County, where we're seeing a large number of cases, are now on that watch list, the same watch list that Umatilla and Mora were on earlier this month. A big warning, a big red flag about what could be ahead right here as well. Live in Southwest Portland, Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News. We have